Hi, Hiram here. Yesterday I did a video using Zelf Starlight Alcohol Stove in the Trail Designs Caldera Cone. I uh, had, had a request from for that. And from that video I got a couple of comments and suggestions that I thought I'd go over today. Casper McDonald commented, You said that the cone concentrates the heat around the pot. Does it not also act as a heat sink? This is true. The purpose of a caldera cone is you put your stove in it in the middle and this cone shape concentrates the heat so that you have air coming in through the bottom holes, concentrates it up and brings it out through the side of the pot to try to, you know, expose your pot to all of the heat you can do. It does sort of act like a heat sink. When the heat hits it from the inside, the metal does absorb some heat and give it off. But the concentrating effect, hopefully, is better than the sink product or the sink condition, whatever. For those of you that might not know what a heat sink is, this is an example. One, it's a piece of aluminum, flat on one side, fins on the other. What you do with something like this is, it's a piece for electronics. Oh, I should have brought something out. If you had something that, a piece of electronics that uses gives off a lot of heat, you have to pull that off the electronics so that the electronics don't get fried. So your hot thing would be on this side, and these fins exposed to the air kind of pull the heat out and dissipate it through the air. So this is what's called a heat sink. This would indeed kind of do that a little bit that there's heat on the inside being pulled out into the air, but hopefully the cone part works much better. In this test today, I'll put a infrared sensor on here and see just how hot this does get. Also, <clears throat> wanted to try something, requested, he said, Hiram, another thought. Do you think we could boil with the same setup, but only with half of a fluid ounce of methanol? I think what uh, one two is talking about is the other day when I did a test on Zell Starlight I used 30 milliliters of uh, methanol to get the water to boil then on the next one I tried 15 because it got to a boil and then really burned for a long time so I thought maybe 15 milliliters might still get the water to a boil but unfortunately it got two cups of water starting at 60 degrees, only up to 210 degrees in 11 minutes and 35 seconds. So I'm going to try this again today with only 15 milliliters in here, along with the trail design caldera cone, and see if we can get two cups of water to a boil. Now I made a, a small modification here as I punched a new hole so that I can see in and see when the flames go out. These other holes are way too low. So let me get some water prepped, get some alcohol in here, and I'll be back for a test. Okay, I've got two cups of water, setting at 60 degrees, 15 milliliters of methanol in the stove. Let's light that. Okay, that's lit. Put the cone right in the middle of it. The two cups of water setting at 60 degrees. Yeah, that's in. That's on. Uh, now, like I said in the other video, that the cone doesn't necessarily make it go faster, but a little bit more efficient. Although sometimes if it's more efficient, then it goes faster. So whatever you want to do there. I'll also leave a link down below to where you can see a great video on how to make these for yourself. I've made a couple and they work pretty cool. So let's see how long this takes, see if it does indeed get to boiling this time without running out. So let's see. The flames are going, going, gone at 842. 842 and the temperature is 193. Oh well, not good. Okay, that was two cups of water starting at 60 degrees with 15 milliliters of methanol. The other good thing about with the cone thing, the, the cone stand here, 
your handles are usually fairly cool. This is cool enough for me to pick it up barehanded. But that was two cups of water starting at 60 degrees, 15 milliliters of methanol instead of the 30, the one fluid ounce. And it, in 8 minutes 42 seconds when it went out, the temperature was only up to 193. So, I don't know, I just get the impression that this needs more than 15 milliliters to get water to a boil, if you needed to get it to a boil. It's definitely hot enough if you were just making coffee or something. But if you needed to disinfect your water, it wouldn't be hot enough. Okay. I guess it just doesn't work with that little bit. So I thank Casper McDonald for his comment about the heat sink. I thank one to try something for asking if this would work with 15 milliliters, but I guess it doesn't. I thank you for watching and putting up with this stuff. I look forward to your input, questions, remarks, helpful suggestions. And as always, watch for my buddy Max. Bye now.